I'll share the screen. Okay, so do you see my screen? Yes, we do. Uh -huh, perfect. So um, the last time we uh, stopped at the definition, uh, at the second equivalent definition of the Markov chains, but we haven't proved that the, the definitions are equivalent. So that's with what we will start the today's lecture. Let me recall the notation. If we have uh, site I and site J, then by P, K of I, J, I denote the transition probability from the site I to the site to the site J, right? So let me recall the definition. Possibly the last time I haven't given number to this definition, but uh, but let us uh, let us assume that it is the definition number two. Then the previous definition is definition number one. Then I, I'll try to to enumerate all definitions, uh, all, all definitions and 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 lemmas and so on. So uh, 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 random variables. Random. Maybe, maybe it's better to write like to write to write like this. Random variables. Xi one, Xi uh, one, Xi two, Xi zero. I should start with zero, right? Xi zero, Xi one, Xi two, Xi three, etc. Which takes value, uh, which take values in our our uh, state space X. This is just the 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 set where our our, our uh, random variables take values, right? Uh, form a Markov chain. Markov chain with uh, transition probabilities. With transition probabilities, p. K of I J. So uh, if the following the following holds, if the probability that uh, xi zero equals to I zero, xi one equals to I one, etc., xi k equals to I k. If this probability is given by the following product, P zero I zero times P one. Uh, so this is a transition probability from I zero to the side I one times etc. times P K. The, this is a transition probability from the side K minus one to the side to the side k and here here p i zero zero this is a I recall that we denote the initial probability the initial distribution uh, of our markov chain uh, by this letter so it means that this is a probability that xi zero equals to i zero Okay, and this uh, this relation should be held for any i zero, uh, i zero, i one, i two, etc. From our uh, set of states x and any k more than or equal to one, right? So this was the definition. Okay, so is it possible to read what, what I'm writing down such a way? So maybe I should somehow adjust the settings because I think that, I mean, the writing is not very- Quite possible. <laughs> quite possible, but if I, maybe like that, it will be better. Uh, so let me try. Right. So, uh, uh, let us prove. Now it is worse, right? 
Okay, I'll try to write maybe uh, slower. So let us prove that that uh, definition one, which was the previous, the, the first definition of the Markov chain, and definition two are equivalent. Are equivalent. Okay, maybe I should just make it smaller then come better. Okay, so now let us keep it as it is. Uh, so uh, look, I will prove the equivalence at this direction. It means that uh, that uh, here we have definition two and here we have definition one. So I'll prove that uh, definition one follows from definition two and uh, the other direction this will be uh, I, I will leave it as an as an exercise uh, so what should we what should we what should we prove actually we should consider the conditional probability of the following form the conditional probability that uh xi say uh xi k equals to some i k uh, if we know that at the moment of time k minus one we were at the site i k minus one etc uh, and at the moment of time zero we were at the site i zero and we should prove that that we can just throw away the tail of of this conditional probability right we should keep only only do, do you see my mouse yes yes okay so uh uh that, that we can we can keep only only this this uh this uh this part of the condition right so let us just compute it let us just compute it according to the definition two uh so first according to the definition of the conditional probability uh we should we should uh, this conditional probability equals to the probability that uh at the moment of time k we are in i k and the moment of time k minus one we are in uh the position i k minus one and uh at the moment of time zero we are at the position at the position i zero I zero, uh, and we should divide this by the probability of the condition of the condition. Um, the condition is the following: probability that xi k minus one equals to i k minus one, etc. Uh, xi zero equals to i zero, right? And then we just write down write down to these probabilities by the definition above, by the definition above. So look, what I will have, uh, the probability in the numerator, it is given by this product, uh, exactly by this product, right? Exactly by this product. Uh, but the probability in the denominator, it is given by a similar product, but here, instead of, instead of pk we have pk minus one right and here we have ik minus one so so the product is is like it's it's it, it consists not of k terms it consists of k minus one term that's why everything will be cancelled in this ratio but the the last the last multiplier so it means that we will get exactly pk of uh, ek minus one, ik minus one, ik. Um, and this is by definition, this follows from definition two. So is it clear? Yes. 
So similarly, similarly, uh, uh, we consider the probability, the following condition probability, uh, the probability that we are at the moment of time k at the position i k and uh, conditioning at the event that at the moment of time k minus one, we are at the position i k minus one, right? Uh, we also write this conditional probability by definition, uh, by definition. So at the moment of time k, we are in i k, at the moment of time k minus one, we are at i k minus one. And we should divide by the probability of this condition that at the moment of time k minus one, we are at the position i k minus one. How could we compute such probabilities? Hmm? How could we compute such probabilities? Actually, <clears throat> do you have any suggestions how to compute probability of such form? We see the problem uh, is that we, we, we have, know how to. Mm -hmm. We can use yeah. the definition two again in the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but the problem is that uh, you see here here we have we know probability of the like of the whole pass from the moment of time zero uh -huh. uh, to the moment of time k. You see, so here we start. So uh, according to the definition two, we can compute probabilities of such form. This is moment of time zero. This is moment of time one, this is moment of time two, and we can compute the probabilities that at the moment of time zero, we are here, at the moment of time one, we are here, and so on. So just we know, uh, we can compute the probability of the whole whole pass like that. You see, here are in ik, and here ik minus one, at the moment of time, well, uh, at the moment of time k minus one, we are at the position ik minus one. But here's the problem is that we are, uh, we need to compute the probability that this uh, part of the pass is 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 as here that uh, at the moment of time k minus one we are here and at the moment of time k we are here and it doesn't matter what is the beginning of this pass you see so yes I see I was wrong uh -huh. does anybody have suggestions how to do that how to solve this problem. <clears throat> I think we can add in every possible condition of our states in psi k minus two, k minus three, and so on. Yes, this is something like that, but but even simpler, even simpler. Uh, look, uh, to understand this, let us let me erase for the moment this equality, and let me let me note the following. So we have an event. We have this event. This event, it can be it can be represented as disjoint union of the following events. Uh, psi k equals to i k. Psi k minus one equals to i k minus one psi k minus two equals to i k minus two uh, etc psi zero equals to i zero and here it takes a union over all values i zero uh, i k minus two which belong to my set of states X. You see, because um, at the moment of time K minus two, I am somewhere. That's for sure that, that I, I am somewhere, right? I don't know where, but I am somewhere in X. At the moment of time K minus three is the same. At the moment of time zero is the same. So just this event, this event, uh, it, it consists of a union of all events of such form. So, so I consider I consider all prehistories. So you see, I say that at the moment of time zero, I was at, in I zero. Uh, at the moment of time one, I was in I one. In the, at the moment of time k minus two, I was at 
i k minus two, and I consider all possibilities for this i zero, etc. i k minus two, right? That's why we have such a union. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Clear. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, but this is indeed a disjoint union, right? Because because I I'll always choose uh, different different tails here. Uh, and this means that the probability of this event is represented as a, as a sum of probabilities of uh, such events. And I'll write just I'll just write it down. So I should write in the numerator the summation over i zero, etc. i k minus two uh, from x probability of i k x i k equals to i k x i k minus one equal equals to to i k minus one etc x i zero equals to i zero right and in the denominator i do the following i do do, do similar thing i represent the denominator is a probability that uh here, here I start from uh, k minus two. So here I should take summation over i zero, etc. i k minus two from x. Um, similar probabilities, but starting from k minus one instead of k. Okay. And then I use I use definition two. I use my definition two. I just write. Okay, let me let me write down possibility in such a way. It means that I, I here I take the, the same summation that above. Okay. Uh, in the denominator, I have similar situation. The summation is the same, but here I should write probability, initial probability to be at the position I zero, then the probability to pass from I zero to I one at the moment of time one, etc. Finally, the probability to pass at the moment of time K from position I K minus one to the position I K. In the denominator, in the denominator, <coughs> I have similar product, but uh, uh, it is slightly shorter because the last the last term is uh, corresponds to the moment of time k minus one. Okay, what should we do? What should we do next? Look, uh, ah, sorry, I have I have a mistake here because look, I should take the summation. Oh no, oh, no everything is okay. Everything is okay. Sorry, everything is okay. We have the same summations in the numerator and in the denominator, right? Um. Um. Then, then uh, look, this term, this blue one, this one, uh, we can put it just, just uh, before the summation because it depends only on ik minus one and ik but the summation is taken up to i k minus two, right? And then uh, under the summation in the numerator and in the denominator, we will have the same terms. So this means that we get just p k of i k minus one i k because the, the remaining part 
yeah, let me write it more accurately because the remaining part is canceled. Okay. okay is it clear? Okay. So in particular, in particular, uh, in particular, we get that uh, the probability, such probability, where we take the condition all to, to, for all prehistory, coincides with the probability uh, where we take the condition only at the at the present moment of time. So these these probabilities, these probabilities they, they coincide because this probability equals to to the transition probability. This probability also it equals to the transition probability, and then it means that they equal, they equal. But this is exactly the definition one of the Markov chain, if you remember. Okay, definition one affirms states that this probability equals to this probability, and also it states that this probability equals to the transition probability. So we have proven definition one. Uh, the only thing that that, that uh, I skipped is is uh, that in the definition one, we assume that something is non-zero in order to take the condition. But, but here, in fact, I implicitly assumed this because, because I mean, I had some denominator and I divided over it. Okay, so I will not take attention for the thing. So uh, any questions? Professor, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, with the transition probability, um, yeah. The definition we had of, of them was the probability probability to jump from state i to state from i sorry probability the transition probability is probability to, to jump from state i to state yeah. j at um, t equals k. Yeah. Um, so this is but such what thing. is like the yeah but I'm having trouble to isn't this just exactly the, the conditional probability of um this is exactly that like what is exactly. yeah yeah so so this 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 is exactly uh, that yeah but i'm having trouble why isn't this a, like a definition and the way trying to we're we're proving this and i oh. it well, looks we have like we have definition. two yeah yeah, yeah. Look, we have we have two 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 equivalent definitions. So the first definition, the first definition which I which I gave as the, the first the principal definition of the Markov chain, states the following. Uh, uh, it states two things. Two things. And the first one is that uh, this probability, this probability. So when when I say this, I, I show which one. Do you see this, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So this probability equals to similar to, 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 to this one, to this one, right? And the second, the second uh, thing states that this probability equals to this one. So just, just uh, how, how do I construct the Markov chain? I say, give me please transition probabilities. So what is the transition probabilities? This is a set of numbers such that their sums uh, over second argument equal to one. So by definition, I call such set of numbers transition probabilities, right? Of course, they also should be non-negative, positive, positive, even positive. Um, I call this object, this set of numbers transition probabilities. Then in the definition of Markov chain, I require that these transition probabilities indeed just equal to, to this condition probability. To, the transition probability is equal to this condition probability, as you as you as you noted. This is correct. This is but, but this is the first definition of the Markov chain. Now I gave an equivalent definition of the Markov chain. I say I uh, I, I said the following: Give me please a set of numbers such that the summation of a second argument equals to one and the positive. Let us call these numbers transition probabilities. And then let us consider a set of random sequence of random variables uh, satisfying the following relation. And then such sequence of random variables I call transition probabilities. And isn't, it isn't clear uh, from the first sight that 
that uh, from this definition, it follows that this conditional probability indeed equals to the transition probability, right? I should prove it. And actually, I have proven it. Okay, is it okay? Yeah, it's better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, now uh, we should prove that definition one implies definition two, but this will be homework. So, so this will be one of problems in the list I will put on the on the website. Uh, very good. So actually, this this lecture it will be slightly boring because we will have we will have a lot of expressions like this, and we will do all the time the same. We will we will divide one over another, or we'll just take some summations of these things. So everything will be simple, but just just I will have to write such long formulas a lot so so excuse me for that but but i mean it works like this uh we should discuss these things okay let us consider let us consider some uh some example let me recall the the picture uh the picture i have drawn uh the last time so this is a markov chain for which we compute, we compute some some examples. It has four states. It is homogeneous. I recall that this means that the transition probabilities does not depend on uh, on uh, time. Up. Then I have two errors like that, and also I have two errors errors like that one like that and one like that very good um but maybe maybe the no, numeration is different could you tell me uh the last time i had i think that i had here one two three four right yes. it was different i think so this should be two right uh -huh. okay thank you this is two, this is three, this is four, perfect. And the probabilities I imposed were two third, then uh, the probability to go from three, but no, sorry, the picture was different, right? The picture was different. Yeah, because the picture was different. Well, it does The picture report, was so. the same. The same, really, because I think that are the same perfect perfect it was the same then then perfect in fact it isn't important it isn't important of course we can consider different examples but i decided it was one third not one not a half he, not one third. here one third yeah okay let it be let it be one third but 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 actually i mean it isn't one third and here i had two third right one third two third one ah one third of course yes of course it should be one third because just above, I have also one sort. One sort. One sort. Here I have one had one fourth, right? Here also one fourth and one half, right? Yeah, I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. One half, and here one third. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so, what is this? Is this an example? I wish to compute the following probability. Probability that say, I think I, I wish to compute the probability that psi two, psi two equals to, to what, to two, yes, two, and psi three equals to three. So how can we compute this probability? Actually, we have already discussed this. We could apply. We cannot apply directly the the definition two because because we we haven't any condition for i for psi zero and psi one, but it means that we should just take the sum over all possible possible i zero and i one, which belong to the set one two three four, uh, 
probability uh, that at the moment of time zero, I am at I zero at the moment of time one, I am at oh, not not belongs just equal. I am at I one at the moment of time two, I am at two and at the moment of time three, I am at the position three. Um, okay, now let us look at the picture and let us let us uh, know that that no I think not all, all paths are possible, right? So uh, from where I can I can arrive at the position two? I can arrive at the position two from the position one, from the position two, and from the position four, not from the position three. Excuse so, me. Uh, yeah. We have x a two equals to two and x a three equals to three, but there is no edge between two and three, so it, it's equals to zero automatically. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. You're right. Very nice. Yes. So this is zero. Okay. <laughs> this is zero. This is zero. So let us change something. <laughs> let us change something. Say say to be four. Yes. Yes. That's correct. No, no, not this. This should be four. What was zero? Can you repeat this? Yeah. I I I, I write I, I write it down above. Okay. So wow. this will be the second example. So this is B and example A. Example A uh, is that the probability that xi2 equals to 2 and xi3 equals to 3. This is indeed just 0 because, look, because if at the moment of time 2 we are here, then to arrive at the moment of time 3 at the position 3, we should pass by one arrow, right? But there is no pass in one step from the position two to the position three. So this is zero. Um, uh, so let us consider the situation when it's it's possible. Look, so uh, at this step here, we should pass, we should pass by this arrow. Um, okay, which possibilities, which possibilities we have? Uh, we have possibility that at the moment of time, uh, zero, we will write it down later. Uh, at the moment of time one, let us fix it. So we can arrive to the position two, for example, from the position two itself, right? From the position two. Uh, no, no, maybe it's, it, will be, it will be simpler if I will start from one, it will be simpler to, to write it down. Then here I assume that I'm at the position one. Here it's position two, and at the moment of time three, I'm at the position four. And here I should also also correct that at the moment of time three, I should be at the position four, not three, because I changed the condition. Um, um, and then then uh, at the position uh, uh, from where can I arrive at the position one? For example, from the position two. Right. So such probability plus 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 probabilities of all other paths which end like this. I will uh, write it maybe shorter. I will just write. Uh, I will not write xi zero, xi one, xi two, xi three. I will write just the positions. So um, also to the position one, I can arrive from the position uh, from the position four then I should consider such probability two, uh, four. So these are all possibilities how I can arrive to the position one. If I'm not mistaken, then I should uh, now consider a situation when I arrive from the position two, from the position two, 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 four, and then to the position two, I can arrive First, from the position one, from the position one. Uh, also, I can arrive to the position two from the position two, from the position two, 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 four. Uh, then I can arrive uh, to the position two from the position four. So, four, two, two, four. And these are all possibilities. The last situation when I arrive 
uh, when here this isn't two, but this is four, right? So this is four, two, four, and to the position four, I can arrive from the position two or from the position three. Position two. Uh, in the last term, like that here. So this isn't a very good example because it's too long. Okay, so in such a way we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven terms. Seven terms. So unfortunately for the moment, I cannot compute compute all these probabilities. Why? Because I haven't imposed any restriction on the initial on the initial probability. Right? Uh, so let us assume additionally that the initial initial distribution initial distribution is as following uh, that the initial distribution is the following vector um, say say um, one half zero uh, zero one half okay so uh, this is what is this it means that that for example for example probability that xi zero equals to equals to one this is one half right so this this one half corresponds to one this zero corresponds to two this corresponds to three and this corresponds to four okay um then so is it clear yes. mm -hmm. then look then then, then this, this simplifies because because I, uh, so now these probabilities, these probabilities, they are given by the formula, by the formula uh, from my definition, from my definition, right? So I should take the, the probability of initial distribution and multiply it by, by transition probabilities from one to, from first side to the second, from the second to the third and so on. So uh, uh, look, so the first term will be the initial, uh, the initial probability so this probability this pro prob probability will take the form um the probability to be at the site four okay let me okay let, let me let, let me write down one one of the probabilities uh explicitly and then the other i will i will i will simplify it so i will write down just the result uh The probability to be at the site two at the moment of time zero times the probability to pass from uh, the site one to the from the site two to the site one at the moment of time one. I recall that if my Markov chain is homogeneous, then I denote p k of i j just by P I J, okay. If my Markov chain is homogeneous, so if the transition probabilities does not depend explicitly of time, so I should erase this. I should erase this. P to one, then I should go from one to two. Oh, it should be black. Then P one two then p two four two four but this guy equals zero actually this guy equals zero because because p two zero this is this is here it is zero the initial the initial probability the initial probability to be at the side two is zero then uh look then this guy will equal to uh, initial probability to be at the side four. This is one half, this is one half, then times probability to go from four to one, from four to one, this is how much, this is one third, times one third, then from one to two, from one to two, this is also one third, one third for, then from from two to four from two to four one fourth one fourth plus uh, the probability this one 
So to be at site one at the initial moment of time, this is one half. Uh, then to go from site one to the site two, this is one third. So one third, then from two to two, this is one fourth. One fourth, and then from two to four, from two to four, this is also one fourth. One fourth, then plus uh, this probability is zero because the initial probability is zero. This probability, oh, it is again non zero, unfortunately. So let us write it down. Uh, um, one half this probability to be at four at the initial moment of time, and then go from four to two, this is one third, then to go from two to two, this is one fourth one fourth and then to go from from two to four one fourth okay uh this probability is zero this probability is zero and this probability is also zero so actually this is the result i i, I wouldn't like to 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 compute it but but this is this is the resulting probability. This is the resulting probability. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Why mm -hmm. uh, the last? Uh, why the? Why from two to four and two, uh, two to four? Well, uh, the second from the uh, from the end uh, is zero. Mm -hmm. Can you explain? Uh, Yes, because because here you should start from the initial probability to be at the side two, but it is zero. Ah, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. So all zeros they come from the initial probability. Very good, very good. So we see this is indeed very very simple things. Um, so now now the following. Uh, just just wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, yeah, this remark. Remark, and I'll call it a head definition tool. So now it will be remark number three. If formula, let me call call this formula from from the definition tool. So it'll be formula one. If formula one. Holds for some k. Look, uh, by k I mean the length of this pass. So uh, assume that it holds not for any k as it is claimed here, but just for some k. Then it holds. For any k prime which is less than than k, uh, so this is convenient thing because uh, because very practical because if you wish to check by this definition that something uh, some sequence of random variables is a Markov chain, then you aren't obliged to check this for any k. Uh, I mean, if you if you are interested in the behavior of this sequence only till some 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 fixed k right for example you are interested in first 100 random variables and you ask if it is true that they form the markov chains it means that you, you can you can check this formula only for k equal to 100 and for the other k which are smaller this formula will be held automatically can you show who, uh, to which formula you gave the uh, name one? Yeah, yeah, this is the formula from definition one. So this is the main. It's definition the main two. Oh, yes, thank you for, from from the definition two. From the definition uh -huh. two. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so could you could you uh, turn turn off the the microphone because yeah, uh -huh. thank you. Proof. Clearly, by induction, it suffices 
to check this for k prime, which equals to k minus one, right? Because if I if I've checked for k prime equals to k minus one, then then I turn on the induction, then I check for k minus two, k minus three, and so on. Um, well, assume that the formula is true for for some k and check it let us check it it for k prime equals to k minus one okay i hope that that till the next time i'll do something with this writing because because it seems to be difficult to read indeed <clears throat> okay probability so we need we need to compute uh, the following probability that at the moment of time zero i am at the side one zero at the moment of time one i am at the side i one and etc at the moment of time uh, k minus one i'm at the side k minus one so how can we compute it how can we compute it if we know similar probability only but but where k minus one is replaced by k so just as as we as we already have done we take the summation over all i k over all possible i k of the same probability of the same probability so i'll write i, I will not rewrite it i'll write in such a in such a form and uh, also i should add here xi k equals to i k okay then by formula one this follows from the formula one we have summation summation p uh, i zero so at the initial moment of time i am at i zero then at the first moment of time i uh, go from i zero to i one etc at the moment of time k minus one i go from a k minus one to to a k and no 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 from k minus two from k minus two to k minus one and finally at the moment of time k i go from a k minus one so it's indeed very very boring to write to write these formulas but that's the life uh okay look only the last term depends on on uh i k that's why i can i can put the summation the summation here right but the the summation the summation over over i k over i k it equals it equals to what it equals to what So transition one. probabilities to one, yes, because because this is definition of transition by definition of transition probabilities, right? By definition, this number satisfy satisfies this relation, and it means that we have only only. Let me write it shorter. So only this product, only this product remains. Only this product remains. Right, and then, then, uh, yeah, and then that's, that's, that's it. That's it. So we have proven that the desired probability satisfies formula one, right? Because it's exactly formula one, which is in blue. Okay, I agree. So questions, comments, 
Well, uh, now, now the following, the following, uh, the following thing. I have announced this the last time. So we have understood two equivalent definitions of Markov chains, uh, and uh, we have proven that they are equivalent. Everything is very nice, but we, we we haven't yet proven that the Markov chains exist because we say that I mean Markov chains is a sequence of random variables which satisfy uh, either definition one or definition two, which is the same. But 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 uh, why such sequences of random variables exist? To you, you draw one to pages above. Does it count? I draw no. I, I, why? Just just here? Yes. No. I mean why? Because because what 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 is the what is the mark of change? This is indeed a sequence of random variables, but but. To define random variables, you should you should define your probability space. I haven't defined it. Mm -hmm. I haven't defined it. So maybe the probability space such that uh, the following uh, the following. So so you see if, if I because definition of Markov chains is special. Look at this definition. I choose for the probability of of such event some 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 special product some special product why uh, there exists a, a probability space with the probability measure and a sequence of random variables on this probability space such that this is satisfied I mean it isn't clear we can, we can get x equal to uh, one point set and the additional x, x x equal to uh, set of number zero for example and the transitional uh, probability of going from zero to zero is one doesn't it form a market chain okay you mean you mean that you, you okay you wish to you wish to say that at least one mark of chain exists right Yes, trivial. Yeah, trivial. But, but but I want I want to show more. I want to show more. I want to say the following. Once I am given uh, transition probabilities, I mean the set of numbers which satisfies this relation, which are non-negative, for any such set of numbers, I can construct Markov chain. You see? So this yeah. is this is stronger. So I hope that that now you understand that. Uh, this should be checked. The next section is uh, oh, oh, what I have done. Mm -hmm. okay. Is construction of Markov chains. Of Markov chains. So now what, what do I have? So we have uh, numbers numbers P K P K of I J uh, where I J belongs to X, K is natural. K is natural number uh, satisfying satisfying that they are no negative and as we have already told uh, their summation over the second argument over J is one, the sum is one. Uh, is it sufficient to construct the Markov chain actually? But not really, because look, because to construct the Markov chain it seems that we also should have this initial distribution, right? 
the, this picture is not sufficient. We also should, to compute the probabilities, we should have the initial distribution, right? Sure. So we are, we are also we are also should be given by this initial distribution. So then then also we have numbers p uh, i zero i is x from x satisfying satisfying that there's some some uh, there's some this is zero is one there some is one and they're also also non-negative. So our goal is the following. Construct a probability space omega, omega, um, okay, I will not write the sigma algebra because, because uh, the probability, the, the set element of elementary events we, here will be finite. And for, for the sigma algebra, we can take, as I've already mentioned, set of all subsets. So probability space omega p and, and a sequence of random variables, uh, xi0, xi1, etc., cetera, uh, uh, such that the sequence xi0, xi1, etc., is a Markov chain is a Markov chain with uh, the transition probabilities probabilities above okay with transition probabilities and initial distribution as above. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So this is our goal. Uh, for simplicity, I will not construct the the um, um, the probability space for the Markov chain. I have written. I will construct it only for for finite for finite number of random variables. Uh, I mean the the. The construction for for infinite numbers is slightly slightly more more involved, and I don't want to spend time on this because still it isn't very interesting. Uh, for simplicity, for simplicity, we will construct only random variables. Only random random variables. Xi zero, xi one, etc. Say xi n for fixed n. For fixed n, where n is a, some natural number. So how will proceed? Uh, just 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 directly. Let let us take for omega the following the following set. It will consist as usual from omega small, and each omega small is just a sequence. It's just a sequence i zero and so on i n. And these i j, these are elements from X. Okay, so I'll just I'll just in for, for, for element for an elementary event, I will consider a sequence, I mean, my pass from time zero to, to time n, actually. Uh, uh, then I should define the, uh, the probability, the probability on this event 
to the uh, on this uh, this uh, set of elementary events to the sentence suffices to define the probability of each elementary event, right? Uh, and I define it just by the formula one. I define just 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 by by this formula. Okay. P zero I zero P one I zero up uh, sorry 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 P at the moment of time one from zero to I one at the moment of time two at from I one to I two etc from the moment of time n at the moment of time n from i n minus one to i n. Voila. Uh, so, do you have any suggestions? So, it remains it remains actually actually to define to define my random variables, right? Uh, do you have any suggestions how to define these random variables? Who will be xi k? Who will be xi k? Oh, this should be a function from omega to x. The coordinates? Yeah, so it's just should be just just i k. Just, just the case coordinate of omega. So xi k is my position, is my position at the moment of time k. And if for the for the elementary event I choose just my pass, right, then psi k should be coordinated at the moment of time k. Then then we get for that formula one is automatically satisfied. Is automatically satisfied because because in the formula one I uh, consider the probability that I zero psi zero equals to some i zero psi n equals to i n and uh, and this is just the probability of omega equal to i zero i n right this probability of such pass and by definition it is given by by the follow this, by, by by this formula. So indeed the formula one the formula one takes takes place takes place uh but but look at the formula one I required I required that this relation is satisfied for any k but now now I have this relation only for k equal to n what should we do with this? Use our uh, remark. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now we use one. Now we use this remark three, which states that once one one holds for any k, then holds for 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 small k. So uh, formula one is satisfied. It follows from this relation plus. Plus remark, plus remark three. Very nice. So, should we check anything else or not, or it is okay? Now look. Now we have probability space, set of elementary events, probability. We've constructed random variables such that they satisfy the, the required relation, such that they satisfy the definition too. Can we move this up for a minute? When we mm -hmm. have a construction, uh, that's okay. Hold it for a couple of seconds, please. Uh -huh, okay. I will replace here Formula One by definition two, right? Because it will be more, uh, it will be better. Is it okay? 
No, can you move the list up for a sec? I haven't made a screenshot yet. Mm -hmm. Like that? Or... Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Actually, I, I'll put I'll put this this election notes on the website. Oh, that's good. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Um, 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 so have we checked everything or not? I affirm that not. Because look, we, we haven't checked. We haven't checked that P is a probability. It remains to check that P is probability. So what should we what should we check for this? So probability should satisfy the two properties, like it should be non-negative and the sum over all elementary events should be one, right? Because the number of elementary events here is finite. Actually, actually, why do I construct the, the Markov chain only like for finite time? Because, because otherwise I cannot consider the, the uh, 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 states the, uh, the space of elementary events or of finite of finite uh, number of elements. Moreover, the number of elements should be countable and it becomes more complicated. We should introduce sigma algebra and so on. That's why I, I restrict myself for the finite time. Okay, let us let us check this. This is this is just simple. It's just simple. But maybe wait, what 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 time is this? What time is this? Okay, we have 10 minutes more. Maybe it would be better to leave it as an exercise and to do something else. Let me, let me just- We can spend five minutes more. Mm, just, just this, this, is, this is simple and boring. So I guess that, that you will be able to do this. Um, I mean, it's, Maybe maybe when you are think, thinking by yourself, it isn't so so simple and so boring, but just to write it during the lecture, it isn't very, very interesting. Um, um, okay, yeah. So let us let us go further. Let us go further. So this will be this will be an exercise. Exercise. Uh, how do you do this? You just take summation over all sequences, right? And then, then you should you should separate these summations. Uh, for example, when you take the summation over i n, right? Only this term depends on i on i n. Then you can put the summation here, and so you sum sum up only these terms, but the sum is is one. And then by induction, you get that all all the sum is one. Okay, so 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 this 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 will be your homework. Mm. Okay, so next, next. Let us go go next. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, but now we have new goal goal. Now we, we understand what the Markov chain is. We have some mathematical uh, formalization of this notion. And now we, we wish to, uh, so, so we can compute some simple things, right? For example, as, 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 as in this example. And now we wish to, to uh, understand how can we compute some more, more complicated things. Some maybe not more complicated, but, but uh, more, general things so namely we would like to compute probabilities of uh, the following form i wish to know the probability that at the moment of time k i am sitting at the position g at the position j So how can we how can we do that? How can we do that? 
Uh, let me introduce some uh, definition. Actually, in my big base, in my in my in my crash course of probability, I've already introduced it. But here it will be slightly adapted for the for the situation for the situation. So uh, let eta be a random variable. Taking values uh, at taking values at uh, in the set of natural numbers, or maybe not of natural numbers, maybe maybe infinite number of numbers, or just in natural numbers so here here l, l is natural then yeah so this is this is, this is definition definition this is definition four then the following vector which i'll denote p eta uh, equal to p one p okay maybe p one p two p three etc uh p j here this is a probability that eta equals to j is called is called distribution a distribution of the random variable e okay distribution so in the case where in the first case, uh, where eta take values uh, one, two, three, etc., L, this vector has length L. In the case when eta takes values in natural numbers, this vector is infinite. Okay. Uh, and then notation. Notation. I'll denote by P, uh, P, K distribution Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. It's too, too early. So first, let us, we have a Markov chain as usual, right? Say one, et cetera, this is a Markov chain. Markov chain. Uh, then, then uh, it takes values in x as usual, and then, then uh, let us enumerate somehow elements of x. Let us enumerate. elements of x as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Okay, so if the, the, the number of elements is finite, then we are in this situation. If the number of elements is infinite, we are in this situation. And then uh, by p, maybe, let me maybe write it in red because I will use this notation all the time by P K uh, by the vector P K which is, is has components P K one uh, P K two etc I will denote the distribution 
of uh, the random variable xit. So this is a distribution of, of my Markov chain of my Markov, of, of, of the position of my Markov chain of the moment at the moment of time k. So that is that is p k uh, j equals to the probability to the probability that my random variable that is xi k equals to j right equals to j. So this is the probability to sit at the moment of time k at the position j, right? So this is the position j, this is the moment of time k. And I interested in the probability to be here. Uh, and then the next, yeah, and what actually, what actually I've announced? I've announced that I wish to compute the probabilities of exactly such form. So in fact, in fact, I wish to compute the distribution of my, uh, of my, uh, so, so, so I wish to compute the, the, the distribution of, of Xi K, right? So I wish to compute this vector actually. So our, our, our goal, our goal, compute, compute, this vector. So this vector actually is everything we are interested in. Because, because we, which questions of which form normally we are posing. We, we're asking with which probability at the, like, at the moment of time 10, my frog will be sitting at the, the position with number like 57, right? So this is exactly the distribution of my frog uh at the moment of time 10. Uh, I think that that I will introduce the last object for today then I will formulate uh, some simple but very important lemma and I'll prove it already uh, the next time. So definition five definition five. Matrix, which I'll denote by by like Russian letter P. This is a matrix with elements P and I J, where I and J are more than or equal to one. So in principle, this matrix can be infinite can be infinite if x is infinite. I j more than or equal to one is called called transition probability matrix. Yeah, because this matrix it consists of transition probabilities, right? So let me write it down explicitly. Uh, here it has the transition probability from the site one to the site one at the moment of time one, then transition probability from the site one to the site two, etc. Here is the transition probability from two to one, here transition probability from two to two, et cetera, here, et cetera. So actually, actually this matrix is infinite so infinite means that it is of infinite size. Can I ask you a question, please? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
when you use the right color, that is PJK equals probability. And mm -hmm. when you draw this little picture, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. PJK, that is the probability that frog sitting in the G spot at the time K. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Thank you. Exactly. So this is the number of spots, this is time. Okay. So, uh, do I so, understand correctly that uh, if uh, our Markov chain is homogenic, uh, the phi n does not uh, correspond to n? Uh, so, sorry, if, if the Markov chain is homogeneous? Yes. Uh, the, the Markov result? chain uh, does not depend on n. Then it doesn't depend on n, right? No, no, the Markov chain depends. So the, 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 distribution, the, the, the matrix does not depend. Okay. The matrix does not depend. So indeed, in in the homogeneous case, for, for, for homogeneous Markov chains, for homogeneous Markov chains, we we will write just P, okay, instead of PN, since PN does not depend on N. Does not depend on N. Uh, lemma, this is the last thing for today. Lemma six, I will not prove it today, I will prove it the next time, but, but actually the proof, this is just two lines. Uh, you can do this by yourself if you wish. The distribution of the Markov chain at the moment of time k plus n equals to the following product. I take the vector, the vector p uh, k, so the distribution at the moment of time k, and I multiply it uh, from the right to the matrix, transition probability matrix at time k plus one, at time k plus two, et cetera, at time n. So in particular, in particular, in particular, P, uh, just k equals to p0, and then I should multiply it by all transition probability matrices to the time k. You see? So look, here, here I will always consider distributions as, as uh, not as columns, but as strings, right? as string vectors. So this is a string like row, row vector. Not column. Okay, so the next time I will start with proving this lemma. Actually, this, this lemma, this, it explains how can I compute the distribution of my Markov chain at any moment of time. In particular, if, if, your, if your transition, if your Markov chain is homogeneous, you just take your matrix at the power k, right? And you know that your distribution is a moment of time k. So it's very nice. I mean, you can, you can compute everything you want if just you know to, to uh, take powers of matrices. Well, so let us stop for today. I will put uh, the first set of problems, uh, the first several, not, not really, the set the first several problems on the website and I'll put it on the chat, on the, to the Telegram chat also, or maybe I'll just, 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 Say to the Telegram chat that, uh, that that I have put it to the website. So I suggest you to 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 solve these problems. Well, any questions? Uh, where will you put uh, the record of today's lecture? Uh, I'll put the record at the website. So possibly I'll ask I'll ask uh, to create a, a playlist in YouTube, but. It will take several several days, possibly. So I, I will I will announce it uh, in the chat. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, no more questions.
Well, so, so, so see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 B